What's happening, Rattler Nation? Kevin Alexander here, and back for another edition of the fastest five minutes in Florida, Rattler Insider. This week, your hometown team took on Louisiana Monroe. Both teams down important starters in this one. And let's jump right to the highlights. The Indians filled a short kickoff and get a good return off of it. And what has become a theme this year for the Rattler defense? The offense scores on the opening play of the game, as Monroe scores on a 62-yard pass to take the early lead. A&M's possession got off to a rocky start as the return man Smith forgets the ball on the return, forcing Twinkle Toes Thomas to come, scoop it up out of the end zone, and return it to the eight. But it would not be a concern for the Rattlers as Blake Brewer bursts through a huge hole in the middle of the defense for a huge gain. Stanford Wright connects with Doucet on a nicely executed play action pass to keep the offense moving into enemy territory. And he finds Doucet again inside of the 10. After a sack and two incompletions, the field goal unit trots on for what should be a chip shot, but the kick falls just short from 36 yards out. The Indians run the direct snap to the halfback who takes it all the way to the house to put Monroe up by 14. Facing a third and long, Rock connects with Doucette yet again, rather first down. Brewer with another big gain up the middle, and he's off to a hot start. AM tries their hand at the direct snap and another huge pickup on the ground. Rot rolls out and finds who else? Doucette, this time down to the 10. Sanford Rot drops back but doesn't see anything and decides to run it in himself. And he's responsible for the first Rattler strike of the game. After an offensive holding, the Indians face a second and long, and the Rattlers hold him to a medium game. It's third down and the pass is incomplete. The Rattlers actually force a punt. That punt bounces into the end zone, so AM starts at the 20. After initially appearing stuck at the line, Brewer manages to gain five on this carry, adding to his NCAA lead in rush yards and rush touchdowns. Another good run, and another Rattler first down. This has been the key to successful drives for the Rattlers. The throw to Sutton is marked just short, but AM is going for it on fourth and a hiccup. No more reliable player than Blake Brewer to convert and give them a fresh set of downs. The drop continues with a big throw over the middle to Sutton. A high snap seemed to throw the rhythm of this playoff and it ends up being a huge sack for the Indian defense. Rot just overthrows McCoy heading into the end zone. And after missing from 36, Coach Monroe puts his confidence in his kicker, sending him out for a 54 yard attempt. This one was both short and wide. Looking to capitalize off the Rattlers' misfortune, Monroe throws one up and they do. They take a 14 point lead into half. Blake Brewer strengthens his case for an All-American nomination by taking the opening handoff 83 yards to the house, pulling him back within seven. In a case of running back C, running back D, Daniels takes his 76 yard, and we have ourselves a battle in Tallahassee. Three incompletions later, and the Rattlers are forced to punt, and this one is going to be returned for a touchdown. Another special teams gaffe for A&M. A nice throw over the middle gets right back on track. They revisit the direct snap and another nice game for Brewer. Rot's going to take a shot over the middle but his receiver is double covered and it's actually picked off. Who would have thought that? The Rattlers make a nice stop on first down. Andrews throws just off target and that brings up a third down. This pass falls incomplete, and AM is able to force another punt. This one's filled by Thomas at the 37, and he gets a nice return to the Monroe 44. Two nice runs by Brewer, the first for five and the second for four, set up a third and short. If it's not broke, don't fix it, and Blake Brewer definitely isn't broke. Fourth and long, and Rott stares down his receiver and is picked off for the second time in the game.
Andrews connects with his receiver Larson for the nail in the coffin. Huge touchdown for the Indians. The coaches had a nice talk at midfield after the game and this one was over. Complete domination in the second half by visiting Louisiana Monroe Indians as they improved to 6-2 while the Rattlers fall to 1-8 and, and remain winless in conference play. Blake Brewer ran for 219 yards on 25 carries and had one score. Stanford Rock rushed in the only other Rattler touchdown. He threw for only 159 yards and three interceptions. The next time you tune in, we'll see how Florida A&M fared as they played their third straight team from Louisiana, this time hosting Louisiana Lafayette. Until then, I'm Kevin Alexander for Rattler Insider. Stay classy, Tallahassee. Now we know,